Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Next Hydrogen Solutions channel, the first revolution in the electrolyzer design architecture in decades. Joining us today, we got the Chief Executive Officer, Reveal. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much for having me. And such a pleasure. So I want to framework a few of these videos out to kind of figure out what's going on under the hood there at Next Hydrogen Solutions. First and foremost, for newer investors, how is your hydrogen tech revolutionizing the industry? And just kind of break this down into pieces for us. Give us a brief elevator pitch. Very good. So Next Hydrogen is a manufacturer of electrolyzers. Electrolyzers essentially take electricity to break the water molecule into green hydrogen if you use renewable electricity. It's the only way to produce green hydrogen. That green hydrogen is an incredibly uh, strong energy carrier and can be used to decarbonize and power industries such as heavy mobility, uh, industrial processes that cannot be electrified, such as ammonia, cement, steel. This market opportunity is expected to sub grow substantially over this decade and then exponentially up until 2050. So this is like a 30-year play. Uh, about We had about 200 megawatts of electrolyzers installed at the beginning of this decade. By the end of this decade, it's expected to grow to about 150 gigawatts according to industry experts. So that's expected to be about a 100 to $150 billion market opportunity. And there are less than 10 notable players in this market. Uh, we are Canada's most advanced water electrolysis company. And what we are bringing to the market is not just uh, a me to electrolyzer. Uh, we are bringing the first revolution in cell design architecture uh, since 1950s. Uh, and this is going to significantly lower the cost of green hydrogen uh, when used with uh, alkaline electrolyzers. We have 39 patents on this design. We first validated it with Atomic Energy of Canada Limited. Then uh, we were proud to secure Canadian Tire as our customer. And more recently, we got Hyundai and Kia as our customer as well. Uh, uh, the, the final point I'd make is that we are super well capitalized. Uh, we had about $40 million uh, of cash on our balance sheet when we last reported, and we're looking forward to releasing a lot of exciting products into the marketplace uh, uh, over the next couple of years. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And when we come back, I want to kind of unpack that farther. We'll get more into the balance sheet, but let's roll back even farther here because you have over a decade of past experience in sustainability and industry technologies. What led up to that aha moment that got you involved with Next Hydrogen Solutions? Great question. It's all about pattern recognition. Uh, having been involved in this sector for over 10 years, you get to see so many different types of clean tech companies. And so the, the four or five things that I look at and what this company has in spades are number one, the team. Uh, the team that they have are proven experts in water electrolysis and led product development for Stuart Energy, Hydrogenics, which got acquired by Cummins. So very, very strong team in water electrolysis. Number two is the technology. It meets a very well-defined market need. It's the first alkaline electrolyzer that, that I know of that was purpose-built for integration with renewable energy resources and can offer the type of current density that uh, according to the fuel cell and hydrogen joint undertaking report that comes out of Europe, you know, those targets that they're expecting to hit in 2030, we hope some of those we can hit this year, especially current density. Uh, that's going to be a, a big for us. Uh, number three is uh, the macro tailwinds. Uh, about 70% of the world GDP has policies in place to grow the hydrogen economy. It's not just the uh, public sector now. Uh, you're seeing strong desire from ESG investors that the companies start decarbonizing their operations as well. So it's both public, private uh, coming together. And then renewable electricity pricing, which is 80% of the cost of green hydrogen, continues to plummet. So there's this perfect environment right now for green hydrogen to flourish. And the final point that uh, I made earlier, it's about scarcity premium. There are not many notable electrolysis companies in the world right now. This market is really going to grow. And so we have uh, the capital, we have the people, we have the tools to uh, uh, gain a significant chunk of this very exciting market. Now, you just mentioned that you have the people. Can you kind of give us some insight on who's helping you captain this ship moving forward and just give us some insight on your team? Something that I'm very, very proud of. So our two co-founders, uh, Dr. Jim Hinatsu and Dr. Michael Stem, they're both PhDs. Uh, one in material science, one is uh, one in chemistry. Uh, they were previously not part of, they were heading up product development for a company called Stuart Energy, which was uh, the company in electrolyzers back in 1990s. That company got acquired by Hydrogenics. They were leading product development for Hydrogenics. And then Hydrogenics eventually went on to get acquired by Cummins. And then in 2008, they decided to co-found Next Hydrogen. When they co-founded Next Hydrogen, 
Dr. Jim Hinatsu and Dr. Michael Stem. They were joined by, uh, by Matt Fairley. Matt Fairley uh, was actually the chief technology officer of Stuart Energy, and his electrolysis experience dates back to 1980s, if you can believe it. So very, very strong experience. He also served as vice chair of the U.S. Hydrogen Business Council, chair of Canadian Hydrogen Business Council, sits on California's uh, board as well. So a very globally recognized figure in the space. As we got capitalized, we brought in new folks in, uh, as well. Our VP engineering comes from Doosan, uh, which has a very robust hydrogen program on the steam methane reformation side. So he's very intelligent on the overall system integration approach. My VP manufacturing comes from GE Healthcare, Delphi Automotive, Cessna. So 25 years plus of experience managing uh, supply chains and generating hundreds of millions of dollars worth of manufacturing operations. And then finally, my VP operations and aftermarket service support comes again from Stuart Energy. He's by far the leading integrator of hydrogen systems here in Canada, if not in North America. So a super strong team, uh, uh, all focused on decarbonizing a planet. I really appreciate those insights. And I really like how excited you get about your team. It really shows that you guys are uh, probably on the same page here, pushing this industry forward. But on that note, I want to pass the question off to the viewers. I'd love to know what you guys think about the industry. What's going on with Next Hydrogen Solutions in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news comes down the wire, as we continue to unpack what this company is doing, you'll get those updates here. But stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.